was, how was your rest? Did you actually get to rest last I did. I literally blacked out afterwards. I fell asleep with my lashes on and everything. <laughs> So yes. Tell us a little bit, what's a, what's a day in the life of a Miss Universe uh, contestant? You wake up very, 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 very early. <laughs> you put your makeup on, your lashes on, you make sure your hair looks good. Then you throw all your clothes across the room, like, what am I going to wear? And then we go to breakfast. They feed us so much. I feel like they're trying to sabotage us. <laughs> Isn't it you shouldn't be eating a lot because you're trying to watch that figure? Yeah, but the thing is, is I think it's a test. you got to... Make sure you know what you're picking at breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then you'll be okay. But they give us like this buffet to choose from, so it's like temptation all around the room, and you gotta be careful. Then after we eat, we have you know either interviews or rehearsals or practice, and Lou gives us that mm, we need to be on stage, and then we get to rest finally. Sometimes, not all the time. <laughs> so tell me, what gives you that oomph to, to make sure that you do your best on stage? I'd have to say, besides hearing Lou in the back of my mind say, you better give me face. <laughs> Show us a face. Show, oh, a Lou face? Yeah. No. no, that's the face. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Lou taught me that. <laughs> um, and besides that, just my own you know, subconscious self telling me, like, you can do this, you're ready to do this, don't be nervous, don't be scared, just stay confident within yourself, you got this. No, this is one of the biggest uh, beauty pageants in the world. How important is it for you to win the pageant, and what, what is your platform? It's extremely important for me to win, not just for myself, but for my country. We've never placed before in the entire history of Miss Universe. So even top 15 would be invigorating for me, but ultimately the crown is what I want to take home. And my platform would be to speak to young girls about having more control over their health and their weight and having more self-love for themselves because that's something that I struggled with growing up, you know? Mm -hmm. um, for you, you know, you're talking about struggling. What, how did you overcome that? What was the biggest thing that, that got you over that hump? I'd have to say a lot of faith <laughs> and just my parents and my friends, you know, backing me up when I was down and just, you know, because sometimes someone will tell you, you know, you're really beautiful and then you're like, no, I'm not. But then you have people keep telling you and keep telling you and keep telling you. And once I started modeling, it really, really like gave me that backing that I need to know that I was something to be seen. So who was the first person to say, do it, do it, do it? Oh, that's a pretty interesting story. When I was in high school, um, a fellow a, a student of mine, she studied fashion, and she was like, you have to model, you have to model. And I'm like, you're crazy. At that point in my time, I was overweight. So I was like 200 pounds. And I was like, you're out of your mind. Yeah, I was plus size. And I was like, you're out of your mind. I'm not a model. I'm not a model. And she pushed me, and eventually I said yes. And once I did that fashion show, I was like, this is what I'm supposed to be doing for the rest of my life. Yes. You are definitely an encouragement to, to young girls and women around the world that you can, you can be a plus model and you could be a, miss, a potential Miss Pageant exactly. or exactly. potentially Miss Universe. Exactly, that's correct. It does it, there's no such thing as, you know, you can't do something. To me, I never thought I would be Pageant Girl, like ever in my life would I ever imagine that I would be here doing something like this. And then everyone's like, I think you'd be a great fit. And once I looked into what Miss Universe was about, I was like, wow, that's where I'm supposed to be. It's like perfect. And I did it. And I'm here. And then lastly, uh, to, for girls that are struggling with their weight or, or that want to want to become a beauty queen or a beauty pageant uh, contestant, yes. uh, give us a suggestion for them or what? Just looking for the camera. To all you girls out there that are struggling with that fitness thing and trying to really come into this pageant world, the first thing I'm going to tell you is don't let anyone tell you you can't do it. Always tell yourself that you are confident and you are beautiful and you can do whatever it is that you want. You're a woman. God made you a woman for a reason. Stick to it. And if you have a struggle with what you're eating and what you're, you're doing, just remind yourself what your ultimate goal is, and that'll make you stick to what you're doing. You all have to watch on Fox Sunday at 7 p.m. We're going to be rocking the stage one more time for you guys. Top 15, and then top 10, and then top 5. Can't wait. You have to watch. Yes. You got it. Ready? Yeah, ready.